and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Tankar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tankar's Tavern blog, Discord server, maybe group, Facebook group, Twittering, and Instagram shite. If you heard a little noise in the background, or hear a little noise in the background, a purring sound, Ashley is currently on my desk, my little desk, my temporary desk, right behind my laptop, purring up a storm. But at least you're not on my keyboard, so we'll take that. There was no podcast yesterday. I did not participate in the weekly tavern chat. Oh, my allergies were out of control yesterday. Insane. So between my my normal, I don't know, uh, breathing issues with the uh, post pneumonia uh, recovery, uh, it, it just brought me. It brought it up to eleven. So we yeah, had it was it was no podcast. It wasn't you. It was me. I apologize. So uh, I'm on Zizel now, whatever they call it, and. Yeah, it kind of knocks you out, but it's better than what I was going through. And yes, uh, my health aspect, uh, breathing's a little off today. It was a rainy day, uh, at least for the most part. But I'm losing a lot of the water today. So, your obligatory tavern keeper update. All right, Ash, you leaving the desk? Yay, pudding. So, what is in today's news? Well, believe it or not, today's news is about Gen Con and the coronavirus. And no, no, before you ask, no, Gen Con is not postponed. Gen Con is not delayed yet. Now, why do I say yet? Because it seems to me like Gen Con is conveniently uh, hedging its bets. This was from 4.30, so yesterday. Updates on Gen Con and COVID-19. This is from the Gen Con slash press slash updates section. We have been closely following the current outbreak of COVID-19. And we know that our attendees and community are as concerned as we are about the virus and the uncertainty that comes with it. In light of announcements made by Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb, we want to assure our community that we are considering health guidelines from Indiana state officials as well as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as we monitor the situation and prepare for any contingencies. While we evaluate safety measures related to the ongoing COVID-19 outbreak, both the release of the event catalog and the opening of event registration will be delayed. Thank you for your patience and understanding. During the unprecedented unprecedented time, we will update our community with the measures we are taking to keep everyone safe and healthy in the coming weeks. In the meantime... Please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. We wish you health and safety. And we will continue to post updates to this page as the situation develops. Gamma has put together a friendly local game store locator page. Many game stores are offering alternate shopping experiences, such as curbside pickup or local delivery for purchased items, or have begun offering gift cards. We encourage you to use the tool. The search for stores near you and support your local gaming community. Now, why would you hold off on the event catalog? Well, simply, I'm going to make this guess. All right? Maybe I'm just, you know, I'm spitballing here. But maybe there aren't that very many events in the catalog right now. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that a lot of publishers... Um, a lot of creators are saying, you know what, 2020, I- I'm not going to any conventions, or maybe I'm not going to go to anything until the fall. And, and now you think about it, if your catalog had X number of events in it last year, 
right? And now this year has half of X. Do you want that out there? Do you want Because here's the thing. If you show that Gen Con is going to be smaller, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Yes, parts of the United States and other countries are opening up. I'm in New York City. <laughs> not only are we not opening up, we're, 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 we're uninvited to a lot of parts of this country. So, like, North Texas. Even if North Texas happens, I'm not going to be spending two weeks locking myself up in somebody's basement or a hotel so I can be quarantined for two weeks before the con. It just ain't fucking happening. So, again, why? Why would uh, Gen Con not release this catalog? You know, you could say, well, they got to print. No, it's, they don't have the events. I am willing to bet. Uh, why? <laughs> it's not going to be a paycheck. I'm retired. I'm willing to bet a monthly pension statement that, uh, that then, yeah, uh, uh, that the that the events are greatly reduced from last year. Yeah. That that right. folks have not been submitting events. Publishers are not submitting events. There's a lot of stuff that's not going to happen. As such, they don't want to show those cards. But read between the lines, folks. The lines are there so you can read between them, and that's pretty much what they're saying. Now, if you complain that oh, Gen Con. You can't get you can't get a hotel within what like two miles of the fucking convention center. This year you probably can. So it depends on what you're looking for and trying to get out of your experience. All right, folks. On that note, as always, as always, wash your hands twenty fucking seconds. All right, soap and water or scale gel, it matters not. Wash your hands. Six feet. Social distance. That's uh, half of a 10-foot pole plus a dagger on the end. Uh, wear a mask. You can be like a highwayman. Come on. Think about it. Uh, stay home. Do the right thing. Watch out for your neighbors. Keep an eye on your community. Just be, you know, be awesome. Seriously. Isn't that from Bill and Ted? Just be awesome to everybody, dude. All right, folks. On that note, be safe, be well, God bless. For all those dice. Ugh. And I will talk with you all, God willing, tomorrow. Mm -hmm.